Diamondbacks have done all the things they once decried. They've spent big money, deferred $60 million of salary, and emptied the farm just to win now. Good for them. I understand the acquisition of Shelby Miller is getting ripped by some national observers who point out how the Diamondbacks have now peddled off their last two number one draft picks, along with Ender Inciarte and a top pitching prospect. Sorry, not hearing it. What's the point of signing Zach Granke to a historic contract if you don't get him some backup? And after spending $206 million on a real ace, how are the Diamondbacks supposed to acquire another starting pitcher? They did what they had to do so they could make an honest run in 2016, and those complaining don't know what it's like to spend a long, hot summer in the desert with a mediocre baseball team. For AZ Central Sports, I'm Dan Bickley.